Hello everyone and welcome to the RV Atlas. We're back in the gear garage giving you our first impressions of the Omnia stovetop baking system from Sweden. All right, everybody, I'm so excited to talk about this Omnia stovetop uh, baking system. So a few years ago, I met the CEO of Omnia at a conference. His name was Gustav. He was super, super friendly. And I think he offered to set me up with the system so I could try it and review it on our podcast. But I never did, and I kind of lost track of him, or he lost track of me. Um, but then in recent weeks, I've been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube of people cooking on their Omnia stovetops, okay? And it's a lot of YouTubers, a lot of van lifers, a lot of camper van people over in Europe. So I started to get excited about it. And I reached out and I emailed Gustav and I said, hey man, send me this setup. I want to try it out myself. I want to review it. I want to bake in your Omnia system. So he sent me the complete lineup of Omnia stuff that I'm just super, super excited to try. So we're going to walk through it on this episode and then we'll come back next episode and we'll actually bake something, even though it might just be like store-bought croissants or something really, really simple. So this is the actual Omnia stovetop oven. Okay, so it actually cooks anything in the, or bakes anything an oven can bake. So it has three parts. It has this base, you see it has a hole in it, and this is gonna go on the camp stove or the hob, if you're one of my European friends watching. And this is going to warm up the system. And this is where you're going to put your actual food in this pan. So people do lasagna in this. Uh, they do brownies in this. They do croissants in this, like anything an oven can do. And it's not a ton of space. Uh, sometimes I see people rocking two of them at one time to make a lot of stuff. But you can make, you know, you can make some good stuff in here for a family of four or five. So the food goes in here. And you see the heat comes up through the hole, all right? The heat comes up through the hole, it hits the top, and it radiates back down, and you get an oven effect. So it's simple, it's made of aluminum. This part is like $70, and people are kind of going crazy for this. It's kind of going viral on YouTube right now to some degree. At least it is in Europe, and I think in America it's really starting to as well. So they also have a ton of really cool accessories to kind of create a whole setup for the Omnia. All right, so let's walk through some of the accessories here, all right? So you have these silicone molds that keep things from sticking. And you can get kind of like almost everything here for about 150 bucks, I think, through Camping World or Amazon, almost all of this stuff. So the silicone molds can go right in here, and it makes it a bit of a, a non-stick kind of situation, and they give you two. So some people use one for sweet and one for savory. Okay, so those are the molds. Then also you have this hard case, which is fantastic and protects it because aluminum can bend easily, so you wanna be a little bit careful with your Omnia oven, but this hard case is padded, and I really, really like it, okay? Fits perfectly in this case. Also, you have this tabletop holder for it here, in case it's hot. So you can use that to serve as well. So all cool little accessories that go with this. You can get the Omnia pot holders, right? Because this thing is hot, you're not gonna wanna reach over here and grab it when you're, you know, after you're done baking something. And you have these um, aluminum foil baking dishes. So you can pre-make some meals in this. So sometimes people will make a lasagna or they'll you know, pre-make a stew even and even freeze it and then bring it camping and have it ready to go. And then these fit right into the oven as well. So these look super cool. And I actually bought an extra one because I'm plan really planning on using these. There's also two cookbooks that you can get that go with the Omnia system. There's this really simple recipe book, which is really cute. And there's this more elaborate Omnia cookbook, which has a lot more photos. If you're going to get one of the two, I really, really like this one. This is a really attractive book. You can get your Omnia apron. I don't know if I'll wear my Omnia apron. I never wear aprons when I cook. But it all kind of looks nice and goes together. It's kind of a nice little setup. 
And then there's still some more stuff here. Okay, so you have your baking tins. This is another one of the bags you can get for the Omnia. I prefer this one that's padded. This is a newer one. And in here, there's a few other cool accessories. So you get sort of a temp probe, which just goes into one of these holes around the edge. So you can see what temperature it is inside. I think this is a relatively newer accessory. I definitely plan on using this. I'm a little bit worried about burning things. I think this will help me. Then there's also a non-stick pan made out of ceramic. Okay, so they just came out with this product as well. And it's non-stick and should work really, really nicely. I'm excited to try that. Then there's a deeper pan, okay, that would just replace the standard pan. If you wanted to make something a little bit heartier, a little bit thicker, uh, a lasagna for more people or something like that. There's also the muffin ring, a little bit small, but kind of cute. So you can make some really, really cute muffins here in the Omnia. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of geeked out about this because like my kids really love to bake, right? They don't like to grill with me. They don't like to griddle with me. But if I'm like, hey guys, let's make some brownies, everybody gets really excited. So when we're camping, I think that this is gonna get used a lot. So I'm super excited about it. There's also this little rack here. So like if you were making croissants, you could put this in here and it elevates the croissants a little bit off the bottom and would keep the bottom from burning. So that seems super, super usable. And that's really it. Okay, that's the whole setup for the Omnia. That's almost everything they make as far as I can tell but it's a pretty complete baking system. I can fit all, and a lot of it nests, I can fit a lot of this stuff under the sink in my RV. So it's compact, it's small, it's reasonably priced, and they say anything you can bake in an oven, you can bake in an Omnia. So we're gonna come back next week, and I'm gonna bake something really simple, because I'm not good at baking. Maybe some store-bought croissants or something like that. But we're gonna come back on our next episode, and I'm actually gonna use this on the camp stove, we're going to bake up something simple. Sean and I will eat it, test it out, and hopefully I will not burn the bottom. So we'll see you next week on the RV Atlas. Like, comment, subscribe. You got to like, you got to comment, subscribe. I'm new to YouTube. Not new to YouTube, but still feel like a little bit of a YouTube rookie. So if you're enjoying these gear reviews and these uh, unboxings and these demos, please like, subscribe, and comment, and we will see you next week.